Hey, how's it going everybody? Uh, just finished cleaning up a little bit here for vlog number three. Uh, this one a little less inspirational, a little less uh, artistic merit to it. This is more of just, this is what every day is. Everybody has to do it and everybody needs to pick up their stuff, clean up, do a little dusting. Uh, tool recommendation, gear recommendation. These little Swiffer deals are freaking awesome for cleaning off dust on your lens, especially that 7 to 14, that big bulbous front in there. Uh, great for cleaning that and dusting off your workspace. Um, and the reason I chose to do this, uh, two reasons actually. Uh, number one, today is my youngest son's uh, 10th birthday, so spent the day uh, after a little bit of time into work on my day job, spent the rest of the day with my family and it was a nice change of pace and the other reason I'm doing this versus a photographic vlog I guess is I get uh, a decent number of questions asking me about you know what software do you use um, are you Windows or Mac um, you know do you use a Wacom tablet or whatever you know just stuff like that and so I figured I would show you uh, my little my little hole in the house here it's a little tiny spare room and what I'm about to do is uh, specifically for mr. Bob panic because he does not like the uh, panning selfie mode so I'm just going to do this just to annoy you Bob and <laughs> do a little quick lap around the room we'll start off back here so uh, of course the bag collection uh, much to my wife's dismay there's mostly all think tank photo bags here except for this uh, peak design everyday messenger um, huge fan of the retrospective line love them this is kind of the daily carry bag here that's the uh, the turnstile and this is actually the very first think tank bag I got is the uh, multimedia wired up don't ask why that bag it's just one that I ended up with um, and then over here, I've got, I love it, the Perception backpack. Um, this is like my urbexing backpack, I guess. It's small, but big enough to get everything that I need, you know, on an urbex trip in it. And if I'm traveling, that requires airplanes and things like that, then it's usually um, the shapeshifter just because of the volume that it holds. Um, vintage stuff, so I've got some weird stuff up here. I've got this really cool Argus Telesandmar. I think it's a, what is it, 100 millimeter? Yes, 100 millimeter old lens, really cool. Um, still looking for a really good solution to adapt this to my camera. So if anybody's watching and has a solution, let me know. I've rigged up a few things, but I don't get focus to infinity with it. Fun lens. Um, everybody's gotta have a, uh, oh my gosh, a lens baby. <laughs> Trying a blank here, it's been a long day. They're fun to play with, not something I shoot with all the time. Um, weird little CCTV lens. Uh, it's like a f1.2 or 1.4, 25 millimeter for the uh, the micro four thirds adapter, the C mount adapter, and the lens is like 25 bucks. Uh, some of my favorites though are the uh, the Minolta Roker X, as far as like you know legacy glass is concerned. Has a 50 millimeter 1.4, and then there's here's a 28 millimeter f 2.8. Um, let me put this lens cap back on. And a gift from a wonderful friend, Tammy Lee Bradley. It is an Olympus OM1N. Um, and I still have one roll of film in there that needs to be finished out. Have just a couple of exposures left on it. I'll get through that at some point in time. 
So that's like the weird oddball stuff in my bags. And then to the workspace. Um, so something that I cannot recommend highly enough, aside from not your father's root beer, um, is this Monoprice IPS display. It is the same panel as my 27 inch iMac. Literally the same panel from the same factory, just not branded with this awesome Apple logo. Um, I think it was like 400 bucks or something like that. Uh, the color and everything matches the iMac like to a T. So I didn't have to calibrate it to match my iMac. Right out of the box at setup, it was dead on. Uh, love it. So that's my secondary display. And like I said, you know, so I'm using a 27-inch iMac, and I don't remember um, like what year this one is or or whatever. Uh, late 2013, so it's the Core i7. Um, you know, with the highest amount of RAM I could get on the graphics card and all that. So that's kind of what I work with. It's you know OS 10 um, Max, obviously, and the Photoshop Creative Cloud uh, Photographer's Package, I guess you could say. So I'm using their Lightroom and their uh, Photoshop as well. The Nick software suite of plugins are the ones that I do the majority of my editing in. Um, and that's that uh, for the podcasting that I do for Mirrorless Minutes. Equipment for that, um, the Blue Yeti microphone. I love that. Audio quality, I think, is phenomenal versus like the Blue Snowball that I had. The Blue Snowball was good. This is definitely a step above. Um, lighting, I use... This little setup right here, uh, it's ridiculously bright. It will make you go blind if you stare into it for too long. So um, that's about it. Storage, um, hard drives. I've had a few questions about my backup plan, my solution for that. Um, so this is a Western Digital MyBook Duo. Uh, it is an eight terabyte setup. I'm not running it in RAID, so I'm running it to actually just get the maximum amount of storage, eight terabytes. There's a twin to this one that is directly below this room in my bedroom. And uh, basically, this gets cloned to that drive downstairs every other day. And the reason that it is on, uh, the reason that the drive is downstairs, because it is literally right next to my bed. Um, so basically, in the event of disaster, you know, God forbid, fire or something like that, uh, I will not even be gentle about it. I will just yank that right up off of the stand and take off out of the house with my family with it. So uh, everything that I shoot is backed up there. All the RAWs, all the edits, uh, multimedia, everything is being backed up to there. Uh, down below, please never mind the nasty, nasty cable management that I've got going on down here. But um, so this is like a four digit, uh, four terabyte uh, my book. What is on that? is um, all of my edits. Everything that I edit goes on to that. Um, this drive right here is I think a two terabyte and that is a clone of my operating system on my iMac, which I'll get to in just a second. And this Seagate down here is multimedia. So this video will end up on that drive and um, my iTunes library is on that. But I mentioned the backup of my operating system and that's important to me for a couple of reasons. Number one, uh, I love the way my system runs right now. Uh, I spend a lot of time making sure that everything is just perfect in how it runs. It's never slow. It's always like right on the money. Everything is perfect. Um, so the cool thing with OS X or with the Mac operating system is that I can clone that install of my system and I can put it onto my 13 inch MacBook Pro that I use when I'm on the road. So the the install on the on the MacBook Pro is the same install that's on my iMac. So if I'm on the road working, I feel like I'm working on the iMac, well, <laughs> minus like 14 inches of screen, but you get the point though. It is a seamless transition from one computer to the other so that's why I'm really 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 anal about backing up the iMac because if I do any sort of change to the iMac if a new piece of software gets added or anything 
I make sure to um, to hook the MacBook Pro up to that external drive and then replace the OS install that's currently on the MacBook Pro with the latest one from the iMac. So I've always got that exact same working environment whether I'm mobile or whether I'm at home. So yeah, uh, I think I covered all the bases. So vlog number three, hopefully a little bit shorter than the last one. I can't tell if it's gonna be or not probably about the same length well anyways you guys take care thanks for all the feedback uh positive and negative i take it all um i'll see you guys around get out there and do some shooting this weekend see ya